Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today I am starting the Couch to 5K journey and maybe these videos will motivate you to do it as well. So I'm currently just doing the five minute warm up. Just for a little bit of background, I have never been one into exercise. It's never played a major role in my life, but in lockdown, I started Couch to 5K. It was the first time I'd ever done any running or jogging in my life. In fact, before that point, I actively avoided it and I got just over halfway through and then lockdown just got a bit much and I lost my motivation. The app was a really good way to do it. It really helped me get into running. So I decided it's time to try it again and this time hopefully finish it. When I did it last time, I used this app. I'll show it on the screen and I did love it. It was absolutely perfect. It helped me do it. The only thing is there was five runs every week. So I found this other app, which I will show here. And that's what I'm gonna to try today because there's only three a week. So I'm gonna try that for a couple of days, see if I like it. If not, I might swap back to the other one, but that's what I'm going with for now. I'm quite nervous. I don't even want to start running. I'm already out of breath and I'm only walking and talking. The first 60 seconds wasn't too bad. You know what? Wasn't too bad. I feel like everyone starts doing exercise in January and I don't understand because it's the coldest time of the year to try and motivate yourself to go outside and do exercise. Like Ireland is literally going through its coldest snap since 2010 right now. It's absolutely freezing. It just seems like a bad time to do this. And I actually really struggled to know how to dress for running then because obviously I'm really unfit right now. So, I feel like I'm gonna be sweating like there's no tomorrow, but also it's freezing and I want it to be warm enough. So that was a bit of a challenge in itself. And I'm not gonna show any clips of me running because nobody needs to see me shuffling along like a 90 year old granny. I'm gonna give you an example of how I looked when I was running. I need to stop saying running because it's definitely not running. It's like a fast walk jog. I've literally just gone over the halfway point. My lips are numb, so I can't really talk. But I take it back, winter is the best time to start running. This is actually going so well. Like when I started in lockdown, it was in the summer and I used to be dying of the heat. I used to be so sweating, so out of breath. This is lovely with the cold. Like I'm a little bit out of breath, but nothing major. I don't feel too warm. The cold on my face is so refreshing. So I'm actually buzzing. I thought I'd be dead by now. So now I get it. This is at night. Oh my God. I just passed through like a really cold patch on my legs. That was really weird. It was like when you're in the ocean and you go through like a little bit of a colder patch of water. So I've never been much of a runner. I'm not doing this to lose weight or anything. I'm just doing it to feel fitter about myself. I've realized this year, Exercise plays such a massive role in feeling better when you suffer from anxiety and depression. I now do yoga quite often. I do like weight training a couple of times a week and I do a lot of walking. So I just thought adding running into my week might be a nice thing. So once I finish this, I'll probably only do running once or twice a week. But I think this is a good way to get in on it. Oh, my hands are freezing. I'm gonna have to put my camera away. Ruth, I'm shocked. I just did my last run. In my head, I thought there was two left and I was like fully ready for two more. I'm delighted, that went so well. And I feel like people are gonna be like, oh my God, shut up, like, as in it's meant to be difficult. First time I did it in lockdown was very different. So I'm gonna tell you about that experience because at that point I'd never done anything like this before, never wanted to. And I had no fitness at that point and it was hell. Like it was horrible. The first week and a half, I would say to two weeks, every time I would get home, I would literally go panicking to my boyfriend at the time. And I would basically be like nearly crying, thinking I was gonna pass out. Like I was so sure I was gonna pass out or faint or collapse because I'd be so lightheaded. I'd feel so weak. I wouldn't be able to feel my legs. I'd feel nauseous and I'd feel absolutely exhausted. And to me, cause I've health anxiety, those symptoms really mimicked panic attack symptoms. And it was awful. And even like, so since the summer, I've started doing quite a lot of exercise. But when I started, especially with like weights, Afterwards, I'd be so shaky, I'd be so weak. I would just feel like I was so exhausted. All I could do afterwards was like lie down for 20 minutes. I've definitely been at that point where I was struggling so much and I hated exercise by the way, like I didn't enjoy it. I basically just decided I liked it. Even if I hated it, I wouldn't let myself think that I hated it. And how I decided was because I realized 
I did feel better after I exercised, after that initial feeling weak and dizzy and horrible, I would feel really nice and happy. So I just started telling myself I liked it. And the reason I liked it was because it's good for me. It's like the whole fake it till you make it. You pretend you love it and then eventually you just do. I hope that helps a little bit. People are like, oh, shut up. That's not going to work. I hate exercise. But I'm just telling you, I was the biggest exercise hater like in the world. Also, it's like a productivity thing because like you get to tick it off your mental list of your things you've done that day. And I feel like that always feels nice too. When I was coming today, my car was minus five. My heater's broken in my car. So it's absolutely freezing. The inside of the windscreen was also frozen and my heater's not working so it wasn't enough to defrost it. And my gearbox was frozen. Awesome. See you again in a couple of days. Did you hear that? That's my warm up finished. So yeah, day one complete. I'm actually freezing now. Like I was fine when I was running. Now I'm so cold. So I actually can't wait to get back to the car. It's day two. I've just reached my halfway point of the run. I feel like after starting out so strong yesterday, this morning was just a whole other story. I didn't wake up sore today or anything like that. So like my muscles weren't sore. But when I woke up, my entire body was tired. So you know that feeling when your whole body is just exhausted and I just didn't want to do anything. Never mind going out in minus four degrees or whatever it is right now. So yeah, today is a struggle, but it's more of like a mental struggle. From the very first 60 second run, all I could think was, I still have seven left. So yeah, it's more of like a mental struggle today. I think I just, I was just way too positive yesterday. But anyway, we're halfway there, so. So I'm on my cool down now, I'm finished. Definitely prefer this app, the new one I'm using because I've just realized like there's not a hope in hell of me doing five of these a week. So I'm definitely gonna stick with the three a week and just pay for this app. I've realized I definitely prefer the actual running in the winter, like while you're running it's nice, but the walking part, I just did not know how to dress today. I ended up putting tracksuit bottoms over my leggings because I just did not know how to dress for the cold because yesterday my long walk back to the car was painfully cold. I did feel like anxious while running today, which I think maybe because my body was tired because I have health anxiety. So like if I don't feel well, that like voice comes out and it kept telling me like, oh, you don't feel well. Like, should I run when I don't feel well? What if something bad happens? But at the same time, the run went absolutely fine. Didn't actually struggle at all, only mentally. So just need to remember that for tomorrow. I'm not gonna lie, I'm dreading like progressing now and having to run for longer periods. I'm actually dreading that. But I need to snap out of it and get back to my mindset yesterday. By the way, if you actually have anxiety, running might not be the best form of exercise for you because running actually raises your cortisol levels. And for those of us who have horrific anxiety, our cortisol levels are already too high. So you actually might find that you're more anxious when you run. And I know when I started it in lockdown, even though I hated it at the time, I used to feel great afterwards. But about five to six weeks in, I noticed my anxiety got so much worse. And like the physical symptoms of anxiety got a lot worse. And that's around the time I stopped. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen. They say the best time to run in the day is the morning because that's when your cortisol is high anyway and then you can let it drop throughout the rest of the day. If you do feel anxious afterwards, that could be why. Hello. Oh, look who I've run into on the way home. Hi. Hello. Hey. Okay, so I'm on day three. So it's my final run of the week. As you can see, all the like frosty, snowy stuff is gone. 10 degrees warmer today than it was yesterday and the, or the day before. I feel like these videos are just gonna turn into like Ireland weather updates. <laughs> but yeah, I'm on my final run. I'm just doing my five minute warm up. I think my first day, definitely just a bit of an anomaly because I was so motivated and in a good mood because I definitely had the like post run anxiety really bad on day two. By the time I got home, I was really lightheaded, felt really nauseous, was so tired. I just wanted to go to sleep. Even though it was the same distance as the first day and as today. So 
that's a bit weird why it happens sometimes and not others but I do kind of think it's because I'm not eating enough I like to run first thing in the morning before I have breakfast but I realized when I got home that I hadn't eaten in 17 hours which is probably a really long time <laughs> to not eat and then go for any sort of like run or exercise but yeah I'm quite excited to get this over me and know that I've done a full week I know I'm fine with the distance and everything like I've done it twice now it's it's grand to be honest my legs haven't been sore I've just been quite tired in general but other than that it's been absolutely fine if you're doing couch to 5k too and you've come here for motivation I hope you're enjoying it more than I have been today and last day but I hope you're getting through it too it just looks so weird now without all the frost okay I'm just on my five minute cool down so I think I can safely say I've done week one of couch to 5k three runs so glad I don't have to do five why the hell was I doing five days the last time like it's so week one is so doable I feel like my anxiety definitely comes out when I run though because I'm not actually struggling that much or anything like that but it's more when I start on my first minute of running all I'm thinking of is oh god I have seven of these left now that shouldn't matter because I know I'm well able for it. I know it's good for me, but I start getting quite like anxious about the fact that I still have seven to do. I'm very much like a beginner to running. When I say running, like I'm running so slow. It's practically like I'm just walking fast. Like I went the other day and my mom was walking my dog behind me. I barely got away from her and she was walking because I'm running so slow. So. I don't even know if this counts as running but I don't know how to do it like the right way like I don't know what my breathing should be like when I run and I also don't know like the sort of posture I meant to have when I run I think I have improved though because last time when I tried it I used to get such a bad pain here so like at the bottom of my like leg where my leg meets my foot in that like rounded part I used to get such bad cramps when I was running the whole like six seven weeks that i was doing it the last time i haven't had that at all yet so that's good so if anyone has any advice for the mental struggle not even that the run is difficult not that your fitness is too low oh look at this little robin hello little robin hello let me know <laughs> week one of catch 5k done only seven more to go <sighs> right now i'm like i can't see myself actually running 5k though last time I think I got to the point where I could run for eight minutes at a time before I stopped and even that just seems a bit mad to me right now like the video or subscribe if you want to see the final catch 5k video leave me a comment for some motivation please give me running tips for posture like form breathing motivation anything you can think of would be very very much appreciated and yeah see you in the next video chat to you after